Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. So in this episode, I will show you how to create a shortcut in each view in AppSheet using the behavior. So as you can see, if I click this one of the icon, it goes directly to the view, okay? And uh, we'll show you how to use the behavior in AppSheet to achieve this look all right so this is the uh, my application uh, my tax invoicing app so we want to arrange this at the middle so as you notice these icons are here shortcut icons okay so we want to put it all in the middle to make it look nice okay so let's go to our app editor so the first thing you need to do guys is to add a table in google sheet so let's go view source so this is the database of my application so i want to add a new table here so let's say i want to title this as main page okay then in main page there is only one column so i name it as image then you can delete the rest of the extra columns okay then here you have an option to keep it as empty or you can add a photo or you can add also a link a photo link so this time i want to use the photo link so let's say i want to use this so i will just right click copy image address okay let's try okay so it's working then let's go to the let's close this and go to the app editor and add new table so let's add the one that we added so that is the main page and reads only all right let's view the columns and make sure the label is the image okay then let's add a new view and go to the one main page and let's say i want to title this as home page okay and keep it as a let's say table view and keep it as a reference ref we don't want to show it and column goes like that keep it wide and display i keep it as let's say home so let's use this one for example then click save then once you're done minimize this and go to the detail view which is the main page detail view then main image should be image and all columns then display mode keep it as a background and keep it at centered okay so you can also use this as display name here so the display name i will explain to you how to change it later on what is the use of that then you have to add another view but this time keep it as a dashboard view then I will title this as main or home page also home or home only okay then keep it in the center and add entries so you add only the home page detail 
home page main page detail and keep it white then display you can keep it like this as you like then click save then now let's uh, refresh the application to see how it look like so we have your home so now we have the background image so what we want is to put these things up here okay so as you can see guys it's not nice now when you click this one it shows the 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 data so we want it to look clean so this one you can change this as a the details you can keep it you can name it as navigation board let's say so you go to your date to the ux look for the main page reference view where is it main page detail then go to display display name name it as let's say navigation board then click save so once we refresh this this name change see it's navigation board now so the next thing guys we have to do is to remove this so let's say i want to put first the company details the first one so you have to go to the view of company details so ux company details here here so the things you need to do guys is only like this you go down then just copy this whole thing okay then once you copy it this view remove it from here here right so i want to remove it so keep it as reference then you go to behavior create new action choose main page okay then name it let's say company details then choose go to another view within this app then paste paste that one that you copied a while ago and save then appearance here display prominently then let's say i want to use this as you can change the icon okay now let's see one sample you can see it's here already so the rest we will put it up so now okay now let's go to invoice this one so you go to behavior you copy this thing uplink then keep it as reference view then behavior new action main page and this is invoice log okay then go to under view within this app and paste this one click save appearance so this one invoice keep it like this and display and save then once you refresh it so we have two more left so inventory and download invoice pdf then same goes again guys so i have this inventory go to behavior copy this and later on guys i will show you how it's looked like in the mobile then keep it as a ref behavior new action choose main page 
so this one is inventory you rename it go to another view within this app then paste then appearance then inventory let's say we have okay then save okay now let's refresh the application so now all my views are here so it's very neat so let's go here I'll click this one I have the company details I can go straight home page and here also I can also click back so, all right and also in mobile so this is how it looks in mobile so I have it here you can simply so this is more more nicer view compared to you will just lay it down or you know lay it on the side okay so this is how it's look like in mobile all right so thank you so much for watching this video and i hope you like this video and comment as well if you have any question and see you next time thank you